I'm going to be doing an unboxing as well as a review of the brand new Judy Garland perfume. Yeah, perfume, I can talk. <laughs> it's late at night. Uh, it's just called Judy. It came out for the anniversary of what would have been her 100th birthday. And boy, it was an experience just trying to get this package. Um, frankly, I'm lucky this one didn't get lost in transit first one because I ordered the first one literally the day possibly the moment it went on sale I was watching for that thing by the way do you guys love my new Judy shirt I love my, Ju my new Judy shirt but anyway so <laughs> only reason I'm filming it here right now is just so I can show off the shirt but anyway so I'm lucky that the second one did not go missing in transit seeing as the box itself literally tells what it is and if anybody knows what they're looking at not to mention, just anything that's labeled as like a 100th limited edition birthday thing. Pretty sure, you know, just might be a little tip off that it uh, could be something valuable in there. But even aside from that, on the outside of the box, let me block my address at the top. But it literally has like the invoice of what all I got in there. So I'm like, Bro, like, who thought that one through? Um, that seems like a really not smart idea. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to very, very carefully open this up. Uh, I'm going to actually keep the side of the box that has the Judy signature on it, just because I think it's really freaking cool. Uh, let's open it from this side. Here. There is also like a standard edition bottle too, which I'm sure at some point I'll probably get as well, but I mean this is the limited edition one, of course I'm gonna get the limited edition one, you know, who even would I be if I didn't do that? Lots of paper in here. Wow, there's no outside box on it, just the shipping box I think. Wait, no, maybe there's a box. It's interesting paper. It almost feels like cloth, but it's not. It's definitely paper. It's just... Please tell me that it's not blood. Oh my god, that's disturbing. Why? Why? Okay. I'm just gonna set that aside. That may be a biohazard, but anyway. I guess it does, in fact, come inside of a box. So it's just um, her signature on it, again, like the outer box, with 100th limited edition, or birthday edition, a garland fragrance by Vincenzo Spinato. Doesn't have any other information whatso-freaking-ever on here. Nothing like scent notes or anything as a tip-off. For anyone who may have been unaware, all three of Judy's kids um, were all involved in designing what it should smell like to try and get it to reflect kind of what she herself wore, and apparently all three of them came to agreement that this smelled a lot like what she wore. And I think it's a nice touch that they did include um, the actual Judy Garland roses in as one of the scent notes on this. My goodness, this is like really, really, really sealed in there. Ooh, I'm starting to get little, little whips of it. I'm trying to get the plastic off of me. Okay, so the box itself looks like it just slides up and off. Ooh, okay. So that's like an outer box on top of a box. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've even got quotes from all three kids on here. So, for whatever reason, they put Lorna's first. You'd think they'd go in order of age, but whatever. It is a unisex fragrance that captures the essence of Judy Garland and evokes memories of our mother. And they've got Liza's quote, It smells like mama, and it is just wonderful to celebrate my mother's legacy in this special way. She would have been thrilled. And then Joey... A lot of work, deliberation, and love went into making this unisex fragrance in honor of our mother. She would be very happy. And then the guy who made it, Judy Garland, gave the world so much, and now it's our turn to give her back to the world. Aww. Okay. Let's see here. 
This fragrance was inspired by and created for one of the world's greatest entertainers, Judy Garland. Judy Garland was indeed a gift to, uh, to us all. With the introduction of Judy, a unisex fine fragrance, we have or we have a gift we can lovingly give back to the world, a fragrance created with the Garland family from start to finish. In developing this fragrance, we took some of Miss Garland's favorite scents, married them together with a modern twist, and added a subtle touch of the Judy Garland rose, all to remember and honor the one and only Judy Garland. Okay, let's be real careful with the box itself. I'm trying not to, like, rip it or anything, but... I do not have the world's greatest track record with that. Okay. Okay. Let's not drop it. Okay. There we go. So it's a nice touch that they made it look like ruby. A little nod to the ruby slippers. So the stand this is just the design of the 100th birthday limited edition one. The standard edition bottle is kind of like, like a twisty kind of a design and it's like black at both ends with red in the middle and like to me it kind of feels like the vibe of like the get happy outfit like kind of like you know what I am wearing so anyways it doesn't list the scent notes anywhere on here or on the box. Nope not down here either just packaging packaging info. That's okay though. We'll see what I think it smells like. Let's see. Okay, it's back there. Let's turn it forward. Come on. Oh, there we go. And let's not rub the wrists because I've heard that bruises the fragrance. Right and here. Okay. Ooh. What does that smell like? I'm thrown because this smells almost identical to my mom's perfume that <laughs> she always wore while I was growing up. Wow, that just, that almost made me cry. Well. Wow. So there's definitely like musk going on in there. They claim there's Judy Garland roses in there, but I'm like, where is the rose hiding in this? Maybe amber? Maybe. There's definitely like orchid and musk that are like coming through like front and center as far as I'm concerned. Is that vanilla? Possibly vanilla. There's something else that I can't quite put my finger on. It's like a really sweet scent without being like grossly sweet, but like... It was just so throwing. I was not expecting it to smell like my mom's perfume. <laughs> like, wow. Um, there's definitely like another scent note in there. What the heck is it? And I feel like it's probably the one that makes it the unisex one, like a unisex fragrance, because it almost has something in common with that one aftershave, like, or cologne of my dad's that I kind of copped off of him when he, he decided he burned down on it. Vendetta. Like, I, I copped it from him. Um, I still have it. I bring it out every so often, but there's something in this that's also in that, but I'm like, I don't know what it is. It smells really good, and I like it, but... I can't put my finger on what it is. I'm also starting to get another fragrance note, the more it's drying down, that I'm also unable to quite identify, but 
I uh, see this is why I'm glad I put it in a couple different spots because I'm getting like different scents in both spots I don't know why but it's interesting and that's happened with other perfumes for me too that's why I do it that way but like it looks weird as hell I know I'm aware but it's like another floral note wish I knew what it was. I wish I were better at like identifying flowers like straight up, but, but it smells really good. <laughs> okay, so I will let you guys know how it wears in terms of longevity. Obviously, I just put it on, so I'll have to report back on that, but that smells really, really good. It's not old ladyish or anything, which I mean, not gonna lie, I was a little worried that maybe it would be for being like an old timey thing that they're trying to go after, but no, it's not at all. It actually smells really, really nice. Like, this is something, this is why I'm like, I totally want to get like the standard edition bottle too, because I mean, if this is like the anniversary one, I don't want to use it all up and make it gone, but I want to be able to like wear it too, you know, so... I'll probably get the standard one too and have that be the one that's the more everyday-ish one. But yeah, it smells really good. Just saying. Okay, so literally like most of the way through the following day after putting on that perfume. Even after showering. Even after coloring my hair and being in the shower for extra long to rinse out the dye, like... I still smell it a little bit. It's crazy, but in the best way possible. So I'm like, whatever formulation they used here, it is definitely a good one with some major staying power. So just saying, sorry, there was a pop-up on the screen. Major staying power. They did a really good job on this and it just smells really good. There was no point at which it smelled, or not really smelled, but like no point at which it got headachey or anything. Cause I mean, some perfumes do that especially if I spritz it at the neck. I did add one at the neck after I got off camera, and no, it never hit that point, which is freaking wonderful, because usually that's, like, where I make my big cardinal rookie mistake is if I put it at the neck. But after it was wearing really well on the wrists, I, I got brave, and I added one at the neck, just to see. Just to see. And I'm glad that I did, because apparently I can wear it there, and it doesn't mess with me. It's really, really nice. I am in love with this one. I kind of want to make it, like, my signature scent if it weren't so freaking expensive or if they, like, sold it in a bigger bottle that I would feel like would last longer. I probably would. I honestly probably would. It's just, like, that good. So, anyways. Those are my thoughts on it. Highly, highly recommendable. And definitely if you're a Judy Garland fan or even a fan of one of her kids, you know, any or all of the above, Definitely pick this one up. It is just so freaking nice. So, anyways. I don't remember if I did my sign-off in the last piece or not, so in case I didn't, <laughs> if I did, feel free to tune out because you're missing nothing, but <laughs> in case I didn't, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like Vibe here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.